David Frangione here, everybody. Welcome on the stage, KC and the Sunshine Band. We're here with KC's drummer, Dave Simmons. He's been with KC for 16 years. Dave, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing great. Ready for the show? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Definitely, definitely. Man. Awesome. So tell us, like, what... So you had to learn this catalog of iconic songs. Yes. What, what was the process for learning them, and what were some of the challenges to get in the beats and making sure that you captured the essence of this, this music? Uh, well, the main thing is just the records, you know, just listen to the records. Go in the catalog and really, you know, try and listen to define what they're playing and what they're doing. And it's always about interpretation, you know, and um, sometimes when you think you even know it, then you, you know, you listen again and then you find some other things. But that's pretty much how I go about it. So a lot of detail in, Ye in getting it. Yes. And then you play, does, do you guys play to a click? I do. You do. Okay. I do. I'm, I'm the. So queen. you got all the tempos dialed in, and yes. then you call them up per song, so yes. everything is is perfect. Yeah. So that way, and and if you, um, now you got to remember when they recorded these these songs, they wasn't click track going right. on back right. then. So you know they, everything kind of moved. And so you find the relative yeah, tempo. So you got like we'll right, right where it's comfortable for the artist and comfortable for the band and everything. So and once we found those tempos, I just locked them in. And you know I pretty much and I also on top of that I I try to you know um, push and pull. You know I'll sometimes I you know just stop it just you know just to be able to breathe a little bit and mm -hmm. let the band you know and just keep the liveliness there. So what would you say is the biggest challenge of this? Game? Um, the biggest challenge of this gig is uh, just getting rest. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's, it might sound very like simple, but the main thing is because um, it's the gig really takes a lot out of you. You know, um, a lot of people come in this band and they kind of underestimate the gig. Um, I know drummers before, you know, who've come and again underestimated the, the amount game. of energy that the you amount need. of energy and you can't take it for granted no, you, you have cannot. to be ready you like cannot. like someone who's playing a sport exactly. for instance who's exactly. like when it's game time like they really have to be in tip-top shape warm-up stretches vitamins mainly rest and that's it and after that is um the biggest thing is this you know just paying attention to to casey and you know just making you're sure watching him for cues yeah well no i'm watching our mostly our musical director for cues okay. but you know sometimes casey will you know take it upon himself to do something different and like i said it's easy to get very comfortable because it's a very um uh you know regulated consistent show but then he'll do something out of the blue and um, that's when you have to, oh, you know, you oh, you know, you can't fall asleep. And, and you're focused on him, so you catch it. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. that just keeps everything Definitely. locked. Definitely. Dave Simmons, KC and the Sunshine Band. See you soon. David Frangioni for Modern Drummer. All right. So this is my Pearl reference kit. With this kit, I'm playing a five and a half snare, uh, wood snare. Uh, I also have 10 by 10 rack time, 10 by 12. 14 by 14, 16 by 16. All my symbols are Zildjian. Um, as you can see, I got uh, 14 Crash Custom here. Uh, and I use that for a lot of accents, mainly um, horns and stuff like that. 16 Custom Medium Crash. Uh, I have a pair of New Beat Hi-Hats, um, you know, standard, love them. I have a Custom Medium 20 inch K ride which i love and um also i'm using a custom dark crash 18 on my right hand side k and a straight 18 zildjian china on my right you know just for all the noise this is my spare snare which also has my uh, metronome and my set list as you can see you know so i know where i'm at during the show i use this for reference which is you know it keeps um the show consistent Tempo's consistent, you know, that way you avoid argument. You know, no one can say you're playing faster one night and you're playing slower the other night. You know, as you can see on my set list, I actually have them written down. And I have them written down just so I remember, you know, and I pretty much do. But in the heat of the moment, sometimes, trust me, you know, you will go blank. All pro hardware, ISO racks. For my throne, I'm also using um, Porter and Davies which is um, wired to our bass player. I feel his low end, he feels my kick. Um, and if he's not on his platform, that's the only thing is sometimes it goes the way you don't, you know, get the punch, but we're full in-ears. So we have to, you know, as much as we can, you know, kind of stay in position. But you know, with this show, it's crazy. He's all over the place. So I'm an Evans guy. He's at my Evans heads. This is a nice little head that he did for our 50th anniversary. Vic Ferris, Pearl and 
We couldn't squeeze Ildjian on there, but we will next time. Microphone, we got Shores. They might be the 91s, I believe, but that's what they're using for my overheads and also for my hi-hat. And uh, for pedals, I'm actually using DW9000s, DW9000 double pedals. But I also have, um, it depends, you know, on my other kits, I actually have uh, Pearl Eliminators, um, which I love too. They're, you know, they're amazing. So I'm going to be switching them out back to here too. But uh, my sticks, okay, here we go. I got my, um, I'm a big Spurth guy. Um, these are my pretty much custom 55As that they done for me. And, um, you know, um, not too much of a tapered end, but, you know, this is it's kind of right between a 5A and a 5B. And for me, that's the perfect weight and with all the different styles that I like to play and that I'm usually playing. You know, sometimes I might jump down to a 5A, you know, just depending on, you know, if it's a pretty light gig, but this is pretty much my go-to sticks, you know, my Vic Firth 55As, love them. So we just saw Dave Simmons, their drummer. Now we're Furman G, the percussionist. He's been with Casey the entire time, 50 years. Is that 50 right? 50 years. Wow. That's a long time, eh? Amazing. That makes me old. <laughs> yeah, welcome okay. to the club, yeah. my friend. So tell us about uh, how's it been? What's the, hey, man, you know, I, what, what's I, the journey been the, like? The, the journey's been that I, I recorded with TK Records too, with other people, sure. Big Betty Wright, Timmy Thomas, uh, Clarence Reed, uh, King Sporty plus all the records with KC and the Sunshine Band. Berman, what's yeah. what is the biggest challenge in playing this gig? So oh, been uh, what it is, time. it hurts your hands. <laughs> but but it's all good, you know. I, I love congas and timbales and bongos. I love doing overdubs, you know, and, 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 this, and the songs. And these songs need, have and need a lot of that. Yes. Mean, you played on the like original Like the sound of your tracks. funky horn, it's like about a million overdubs. But then we couldn't do it live because then I had to do that's the way I like it because it's only one, the conga, and that's it. Right, you know? Right, right. Yeah. And you played on all these iconic songs. What's oh, your yeah. what's your favorite song of all the ones that that's everybody the way knows? I like it. That's the way I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty iconic. Yeah. Okay, like rhythms like cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. to like a scano sasa then we go into wa wan ko is like and this is the famous mm. <laughs> I don't know, a lot of, uh, and it's in a lot of records, those little mm, and it's done with the middle finger, actually, and you just, you know, roll it, you know. Um, the, the, the congas drums are, you know, they were made, actually, it's, it's, Af it's an African drum, you know, and this is like 12 and a fourth, 11 and a fourth, 11 and, th 11 and three fourths. And uh, this was made specially for me. 
what LP, LP made it for me especially, you know. And I just love the sound. And, and the, the skins are, used to be like, you know, um, mule skins, you know. But if it gets rained on, <laughs> that's it. So now it's synthetic. Typical Cuban. So Patato used to show me, I used to do it. It was not like that. It's See the different? Patato showed me how to do that, and Armando Peraza too, you know, all those guys that I hang out with, you know. And uh, some people used to say to me, like, uh, why you use tape in your hands? I said, whoa, Mongo used to use tape too. <laughs> okay, it, it, it's the congas, and then what I do, what I do is I get the, the cowbell on the left, so I go. I play very simple. That's what I do. I play extremely simple. Everything like that's the way I like it. And boogie shoots. You know what I mean? It's like I, I, I try to play as simple as possible. Everything that I do is simplicity. And the song that we do, there is um, the, the, the B side of Please Don't Go. Uh, um, I bet you didn't know that. It's like. That's it. So mostly the way I play is very simple. No, not solos. Or, I can do a solo, but. Mostly what I do is just rhythm and make sure that the click track is, is with me, you know, all the time. I, I, li I like to play with a click. That way nobody can blame me, me and him, <laughs> me and uh, Mr. Simmons. <laughs> if they say anything to us, oh, no, 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 we're playing with a click. <laughs> yeah, and then I got the timbales here, you know, and, and, boot, and, uh, and give it up. It's really weird, you, you hear the sticks going through the whole song. And it's right here. Give it up, baby, give it up. So you hear those sticks through the whole song. People say, what is that, you know? Then we did, but we don't do it anymore. Uh, at the first album with Queen of Clubs, um, Sound of Your Funky Horn. Uh, that song had so many overdubs <laughs> that it's kind of hard to uh, reproduce live. It's got a vibrant slap, you know, it's got cowbells. Then I went and bought those little bells that you hang from, the, from, the, from your doors in your house. So I bought like about seven of, of those and I put it in a broomstick and I nailed them to the broomstick and through the whole... Um, Sound of your funky horn, you hear this If you listen to the song, you say, what is that? They thought it was these, but it wasn't those. It was those little things that it's just, you know, when you're 23 years old, you, you come up with all these ideas, you know? <laughs> and the, the timbales are just used for fills, you know? And then, like, at the end of the show, I go into, like, a comparsa type of thing. That's like a John Canoe kind of thing. See, that's the way I play. I play kind of John Canoe-ish way, you know? Like, like the, the people from the Bahamas, you know? But I put the Cuban too, the, the, the Cuban taste in it, you know? So that rhythm, do you? So... Mm. That's the 
end of the show and everybody leaves in the conga line. You know, everybody goes away, you know. Um, like I said, the cowbell, and then I got a hand clap here. There you go. Mm, 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 mm. You can't hear it now, but that's what the hand clap is for. Symbols just to crash, but like I tell you, the, 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 the whole thing is just simpl simplicity for me. Simplicity and try to be right on time with a drummer. I listen a lot to the bass player and the guitar player. Sometimes I follow guitar, guitar like, like, like rhythms and the bass player, especially in That's the Way. I want to do a track one day with <laughs> I wonder how that sound <laughs> but that's the way I play mostly the way I play I, I, I try to play with a drummer I, I, I just try to follow that hi-hat and, 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 and the snare drum he is my my thing you know my the, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to Sorry. huh like your compass or your yes right metronome. yeah my metronome right with a click you know and that's about it. It, it, it everything is very simple tambourines are you know mostly like 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 please don't go it's like please don't go oh. right and then boogeyman is Sixteen notes. Actually, in the studio, I did it like this. I'm your boogeyman. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's about the way I play, you know. I'm here with the iconic KC. I grew up, I'm such a huge fan. Thank you. I grew up listening and being inspired by you. Thank you so much. Music. Nice to meet you. The readers want to know. Okay. When you, you know, you've created so many iconic songs. What do you look for in a drummer? What do you, what do you, what are, what's important to you why you choose, like I'm gonna have this drummer be my drummer? Wow, that, that's, that's a hard question because it's definitely the feel. Um, I, I definitely wanna see their solo capabilities and their, uh, their knowledge of the drums. That's important. Um, their timing is very important. Their personality, I mean, a lot of things play into it. it it's, it's hard to say exactly what, you know, it, number one, when I, when I audition a drummer, it's going to be their timing, for sure. It's going to be their solo capability, uh, you know, how, how much can they bring to the show extra above and beyond just sitting up there and playing, keeping time. And um, their personality, that, that plays an important part whether I think I can get along with them or not too, so. Sure, yeah, that, yeah. of course, because you're on the road. But I mean, it's always, you know, the talent's always the most important thing. I, I want to see the, 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 you know, everything they have to give talent-wise that they know on their drums. I, I want to see them display their craft, not only to me, but once they're on the stage to the, to the audience and what they can bring to the show and add to the show. That's important. And it's interesting you said soloing capability because your <laughs> songs, everybody knows the songs right. and they're groove songs. Yeah. But yet you're looking for some improvisational skill. Well, I mean, it's a show. It's beyond, you know, we take our songs beyond the songs. So, you know, there, there's moments in the show where everybody, you know, expresses their individual talent or whatever to the audience as a part of the show. So like David, you know, does a, a almost a five minute solo you know, during the okay. show. I mean, I've always kind of had that. Um, and, um, and also, like, uh, sometimes I've done ad-lib shows where uh, all of a sudden I'll just point at him and, like, do something, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Or the guitar right. player, the bass, or whatever. Right. So it's important that, that they can pick up spur of the moment, like, point, like, okay, give me what you got. And go. Thing and go. Right. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Now, when the songs are being put together and you're writing the songs, the drums are such a big part of them. Right. Are you pr programming a beat to kind of put it in a certain direction? Or are you asking the drummer to say, you know, if we take, uh, you know, 
that's the way I like it or get down tonight or these iconic songs the, the, these beats that they're such an integral part um, there were times in the very beginning of the recordings you know with my original drummer that I would actually you know say give me this kind of a beat or whatever and um, but you know it's, it's just all a process right, right. Um, I, I kind of I don't know if it, I don't know if my writing kind of creates what the beat's going to be or what it's going to you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, sure. The rhythm of what I uh, write is going to uh, play an important part in uh, uh, how the beat's going to go or the bass or, or or the rhythm part of the sh uh, of the song. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of things play play into it. Right. And what's your favorite song to perform live after all, all of these them. years? All of them. There's all no them. one favorite. You just no. love playing the I step just, down. They're fun. Yeah. Well, I love it. KC. Modern drummer. Thank you. Stay tuned. See you guys.